you are absolutely wrong thinking that Facebook is just a platform for older people who want to touch with their high school friends and show off some nice places where they've been on holidays and show the pictures of their dogs or kids. No, no, no. You can't be more wrong than this. Facebook is a money-making machine. Money-making machine. And don't underestimate the power of Facebook, especially if you are starting an online business entrepreneur. Welcome, my name is Agnes and I'm a money teacher and on this website you will definitely find the best and the easiest ways to start making your online business. The best I left as always for the last. That's why make sure you don't skip any part of this video if you want to hear what's my best and favorite way of making money on Facebook this time and I will show you a couple of great examples. Plus for those very very careful watching followers who will spot a wee thing, probably emoji, I'm not sure yet, but those who spot the thing somewhere during watching this video and will make a comment, then they will have a chance of winning $100 Amazon voucher. So make sure you make your comments in the comment section if you spot that emoji. So if you are a starting business or online entrepreneur and you don't know which platform would be the easiest one to start with, I would probably suggest Facebook, although maybe you are young enough and think that Facebook is a thing of the past, that only all people are there and there's nothing really going on. You must pay loads for advertising. I can tell you that there are people who've just in a 18 months said they've made some millions in a very surprising way. So make sure you don't miss that opportunity because it's a very easy way to make tons of money. We will start from uh, the very best known way of making money on uh, Facebook, which is Facebook Marketplace. Facebook allows uh, simply other people to sell their new or used items on their marketplace. You can either buy or sell. The very important thing is, as everywhere else, to upload nice and clear pictures and be honest. Facebook uses uh, geolocation as well, so it's uh, easy easier uh, to find things uh, beside you in your area because uh, those things will uh, show up for your marketplace in the first place. So for that reason, it will be easier for you to find, let's say, car for sale or some mobile phones uh, that people are selling or some companies are selling. However, I doubt Facebook a marketplace can turn into your full-time income because I never heard about any successful story. It may generate quite a lot of warm leads, especially if you are selling more expensive stuff like sheds or some furniture that definitely can generate you some new viewers and people who's gonna inquire about your products or even visit your local place. So for that reason, it might be a good lead and interest generation tool itself as it is. I doubt it can fully turn into making someone a full-time income. So that brings us to the next point, which is the point that Facebook is a traffic generator. As I said, Facebook has an awful lot of data about every user and Facebook knows where we are, what we like, what pages we look at on Facebook, what we browse, which headlines catch our attention, which topics catch our attention. Um, it, basically, they know a lot of things about what triggers us and what pays our attention. That's why 
um, new starting online entrepreneurs or even big companies pay a lot of money to Facebook to get the, those people who would be interested in certain things that are from a certain areas because Facebook has so much data about people it's easier for other companies to to basically get a sales. However, we must remember that those sales do not happen on Facebook because people are on Facebook not to buy stuff. People are on Facebook generally to search for some funny stuff or something what would be in their interest. People when are on Facebook do not intend to buy anything. It's just the things that may catch their attention. That's why we call it here two-step marketing because usually uh, what we do uh, on Facebook, we show people some ads for the reason to click on them. There must be of course some topic related and fully targeted ads and then people get off the Facebook through the link to an external website where they either do or don't uh, proceed with the purchase of certain item or service. So that brings us to the next point, which is the point that Facebook is a traffic generator. As I said, Facebook has an awful lot of data about every user and Facebook knows where we are, what we like, what pages we um, look at on Facebook, what we browse, which headlines catch our attention, which topics catch our attention. It basically they know a lot of things about what triggers us and what pays our attention. That's why um, new starting online entrepreneurs or even big companies pay a lot of money to Facebook to get the, those people who would be interested in certain things that are from a certain areas. We must remember that those sales do not happen on Facebook because people are on Facebook not to buy stuff. People are on Facebook generally to search for some funny stuff or what would be in their interest. People when are on Facebook do not intend to buy anything. It's just the things that may catch their attention. That's why usually what we do on Facebook, we show people some ads for the reason to click on them. There must be of course some topic related and fully targeted ads and then people get off the Facebook through the link to an external website where they either do or don't uh, proceed with the purchase of certain item or service. Another way of making money on Facebook is of course Facebook ads. In relation to Facebook ads, the saying you have to spend money to make money really indeed is a case here because you can't make money without spending money on a Facebook ads. It relates a little bit to the previous point, however, we're more concentrating on a lead generation in the previous point. Here, we are talking about the Facebook ads itself. And Facebook ads is something for more advanced entrepreneurs who have the whole system in place, who know the system, how it works, who has some knowledge about how to run Facebook ads. By the way, if you want to learn the proper way of running ads, I have a brilliant course which will teach you organic and paid ways of running traffic for your ads and offers and your fan pages and any social media sites, either it's Facebook and not only, and the link is in the description, so don't miss it. When you uh, decide on running Facebook ads, you must know quite a lot about Facebook ads because if not, you may run out of your money quite quickly. So I definitely don't recommend running any ads, any paid ads to any new entrepreneurs until they have uh, some 
money in hand to upscale their business however it takes a little bit of time so don't rush if you are if you don't have enough enough of budget to do it because you may lose your money and as well it's better to consult that with someone who already has some experience in running uh, some facebook ads Another great way of uh, making money on a Facebook platform is generating leads. It's a little bit uh, connected uh, with uh, the previous uh, way of uh, making money on uh, Facebook. Uh, however, it's uh, a little bit uh, more about how you do it. For that reason, uh, the best way is to create a Facebook a fan page, like for your business a fan page or a group as well. When we create Facebook ads, it's quite easy to target the audience that we are interested in that uh, that may like our product. You can even target the audience technically of your competition on Facebook so you will know that that's exactly people who are interested in this type of products because either they like their page or they bought from that page from that brand so you don't necessarily have to only drive traffic to your uh, page you can as well drive traffic to your blog and let's say um get your money either from affiliate links that are on your blog or you can make money with a Google AdSense because if you can drive a lot of traffic then you may really rent some space on your blog for Google Ads and Google Ads will generate for you a lot of money. If you but if you decide on creating email opt-in form which can be even done on the Facebook page then then you can make more even a passive income sending emails to your list and the next quite a new way that became very popular on facebook especially for some brick and mortar shops whenever pandemic started and the shops were closed down people couldn't get into their physical shop a lot of retailers went on facebook and and they set up their fan pages and they ran a Facebook lives. I know literally hundreds of retailers who open their small boutiques. I know personally that an awful, an awful lot of people made humongous money, especially during pandemic. If you are not camera shy, Facebook lives might be something of interest for you, but you must be prepared that it takes a little bit of time to get to know your audience. And at the beginning, there might be a lot of the so-called trolls who will try to make your life harder but that's a good thing because because they boost your engagement the more comments on your live or below any post the better and normally when people see someone being a troll they try to confront him and there is a lot of comments and that's great and the last uh, very very new way of uh, driving either traffic or in driving traffic or increasing in engagement or turning eyes of the audience on you on your products on your services is Facebook Reels. Facebook Reels is something new and Facebook is promoting that feature on Facebook because it's something what Facebook would compete with other platforms like TikTok, like YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels still is just pushing a lot of organic traffic, showing of turning a lot of 
people's eyes on you on your products at the same time making people to click on your ad going to your fan page checking your links and maybe going to your page with your services with your products with your shop with your affiliate links and converting into sales so don't underestimate Facebook Reels, especially at the moment when it's the time to really go for them. If you want to learn exactly the strategy of Facebook Reels, don't forget to sign up and hit the bell button to be notified because the next video will be a short training about Facebook Reels, how Facebook Reels work, what should you put we will be i will be talking about different niches and some other hacks that you should use when posting facebook reels so stay tuned thanks for watching and see you shortly I was yours for the taking.